representation is power and you know we all you know deserve to see ourselves. If you're not employing your customer, you're not going to succeed. Unless we have or are the companies that we invest in have diverse, inclusive, well-motivated employees, that business will not perform well. Looking at you, yeah. I'm Neil Clifford. I'm the chief executive of Kurt Geiger. I didn't go to university. I wasn't from a wealthy background. I didn't have the contacts. I'd never been to London. So it was very clear to me when I made it into the position where I am that it was uh, a real mission to be able to help kids like me 30 years later. I think the reality of inclusivity and diversity is pretty obvious if you're a retailer. If you're not understanding the broader uh, consumer that you talk to in your 57 stores and your website and your international business across the globe, you're not going to succeed. My name is Michael and I am an ambassador of the Brixton Finishing School. So Brixton Finishing School is essentially a school for young people who are looking to break into the creative industries. During the course, we were able to meet so many agency partners and brands and you know people who really gave us a lot of advice and insights into how the creative industries work. Brixton Finishing School gives young people a lot of skills, not only to work in the creative industries, but also just life skills as well. Like it really helps you develop as a person. To me, Kurt Geiger is fashion and it's luxury but affordable luxury and high fashion. Everybody deserves to, you know, have nice things and feel good. That's partly why I wanted to work there. We have had a real mission to find a niche for ourselves that is a wonderful mix of creativity and kindness. People my age want brands to be um, a voice. We want brands to actually be actively doing something. So I'm Vanessa Maiden, I am Corporate Affairs Director at Synven. Invest Europe has done very well to date in helping share best practice amongst its members. ESG is environmental, social and governance. The social elements are sometimes overlooked because they are um, very difficult to measure. Companies do more frequently have diversity policies in place. Um, some private equity firms actually put together diversity toolkits for, their, for the companies in which they invest. Private equity, what it also does in my view, is it simplifies boards and simplifies strategies. There's no room for politics in private equity. So you need management teams that are happy to look at themselves in the mirror and not look out the window and blame other people. And I've had five private equity partners and I still have relationships with all of them. A lot of um, people think that actually private equity is, is only in business to, to make money. And actually I think that is, that is fundamentally um, untrue. We focus on um, how to get the best out of a business, how to um, improve the performance of a business. And actually what we are seeing now time and time again is we can only do that if we get the ESG right. There are opportunities like the ones that Kurt Geiger has identified to work with organisations like the Brixton um, Finishing School to actually help young people in their career paths um, and in employment. There should be diversity at all levels because that's what's going to make companies great and that's going to that's going to make the real change. You have a diverse, more inclusive workforce and um, your staff feel more motivated, they feel more engaged, they feel valued, um, they feel empowered. I want to be a voice and a change maker, especially for people who are underrepresented within the industry. I think that stories deserve to be told and need to be heard. I want to be part of that change, telling those stories.